It's new this morning, a man who's getting a second chance at life is telling everyone he can about how it happened. He's promoting the people, training, and equipment that saved him from sudden cardiac arrest. Here's our Julia Fellow. This all happened back in March inside Pulaski High School. The stars were aligned that three people were all in the same spot at the same time to save this Wauwatosa man's life. 66-year-old Bob Schmidt was playing pickleball with his wife of 39 years, Mary, when he had sudden cardiac arrest. I can remember thinking about maybe I should have some water. I was a little dehydrated, and that, that, that is definitely the last thing I can remember. Brian Smallcomb helps recall what happened next. He turned blue instantly and stopped breathing. The nursing student had been dragging his feet to watch his partner play. March 2nd was the first time he decided to go after two and a half years. That's the same day Bob's heart would stop beating. It was kind of like fate, I think, because I'm trained in CPR. He jumped into action. Made sure the air was secure, pounded on his chest, no response. Bob's wife Mary helped give breaths as workers with Milwaukee Recreation found an AED to help bring him to life as they waited for an ambulance. Before they arrived, because of that defibrillator, Bob was giving hand signals and following voice commands. I got his heart started and his heart stopped on me twice. Do you think it saved your husband's life? Oh, absolutely. I saw it save his life. He went from purple to almost pink. A spokesperson with Milwaukee Recreation believes this is the first person to be saved by one of their AEDs and they plan to now have them all at every location by next season. Having an AED in every public building is an absolute necessity. That AED is truly what saved Bob's life. Bob took three months off pickleball and is back at it again. Okay, I started up again in June. Life goes on. Brian will graduate with his nursing degree in December. In the meantime, he's pushing for more public areas to have AEDs, highlighting programs like Project Adam, which is creating safe heart schools. Its goal is to have defibrillators in every Wisconsin school. Even if you're not completely sure what to do, do something. Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.